I finally dropped my editing pack. This pack has years worth of my editing and work behind it. And those of you who have it will see why. For just $19.99, you guys get a ton of assets. And that's not all because I'm giving out a ton of discounts. And the first 50 people that get this pack get 25% off. But guys, there's not a lot of slots left. So make sure you check out with code SHOWPACK to make sure that you get your discount before it goes away. So like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's check out how this works. I am gonna be putting out so many more discounts, so if you wanna make sure you get it for a lower price, then stay tuned on my socials and my YouTube. Okay, so this is my store for all of my editing products. There's also project files and a bunch of other things, but this is the editing pack. So for those who buy it or are interested in it, I'm gonna show you what's inside of it and what you need to know. So first off, when you buy this, you actually get a discount to my old editing pack as well. So you'll actually get 50% off of this old editing pack when you get the new one. So, you know, if you do wanna try that, you can. So the presets that I use for this editing pack are mainly for After Effects. Effects. And the plugins used are BCC, Sapphire, Red Giant. Those are the main ones. But mainly when you get this, you get a zip file. So when you open that up, this is the main editing pack and this is what you get. So first off, we have copyright. And this is just documentation to inform you that this cannot be redistributed. This is a copyrighted editing pack. So if any of this is shared or redistributed, I'm liable to sue you. But anyways, this is the rest of it. So first off, we have editing songs. I'm very picky about my music and making sure that it fits my vibe and is also non-copyrighted. So these are my older edit songs that I've got. Now these are in my video description links, so you can always check out the original link to these, but just check these out, bro. Like this is fire. So many people ask me about the songs that I use, and what I love about these is that I know most of these artists. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part. There are some insane songs in here. Okay, now for the big stuff, we have effects and presets. So there are so many effects presets in here. We actually have three folders of effects. So there's the first, second, and third. I also included my color grades. So I get a lot of questions about the effects that I use, but I also get even more questions about my color grades. So I've actually included them in the pack and these are really good. I'll open up After Effects and show you guys. So after you download these, you just need to copy them and then wherever your After Effects file is, you just paste them in. So documents, Adobe, I'm using 2022, and then user presets and then just paste them in here. So this is where I have all of my presets. Now I'm in an After Effects composition, so I can select a layer and go to animation, apply animation preset, and then just find wherever your presets are. And this is how you can apply my presets from my pack. So let me show you guys some of the color grades that are in this pack, because <laughs> this is actually kind of insane. First, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer, Control Alt Y, and apply a color grade. So I'll go to animation, apply animation preset. And these are the color grades. All of these are fire. Let me use this one, shield grade fave, so you guys can see what it looks like. And as you can see, I've popped the orange and the teal quite a bit and added a bit of film and some other sauce on looks to just make sure that this looks so crisp. I mean, this is what I use in my music videos, my montages, my edits. So I think you guys are gonna really enjoy these. Let me apply it to a cinematic so you can see what it looks like on a different kind of color scheme. So here's a cinematic. And actually, if you guys are on my Patreon, I do supply cinematics over there as well, if you're interested. So after applying the color grade, this is what it looks like now. And to me, that looks so much more professional. Everything has literally just leveled up because of that. Now I've actually just opened up a thumbnail project file. So when I make a thumbnail for a YouTube video, I create a project file and I always like to finish it off with a color grade to make sure that everything really pops. So let me control Alt Y and I actually have a thumbnail color grade and I apply that and it makes things pop. I have extra saturated on the green and this actually especially works well for Fortnite color grades because it makes certain colors from the game work really well for thumbnails. So this is definitely a little touch for those who are trying to create a really good thumbnail in After Effects as well. All right, moving on. Actually, let me, let me show you guys one more color grade. I'll just type in a random one here, see how it looks on this. Yeah, so that's another color grade, also looks really good. Sometimes I literally just apply these to see how they look. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go to the effects. 
So we we definitely have a bunch of random effects here. So I just clicked a random one. And you're probably like, chill, what the hell? This looks terrible. <laughs> well, if you go to the blending mode, which if you can't see, you can toggle switches and modes. On this adjustment layer, we can switch this to something else. And we can start also getting some different looks. So if you're ever confused about why the colors look really weird on certain effects, remember that you can also use blending modes. Because I think there's like one or two presets that actually use blending modes. Now here's an 8-bit effect adjustment layer that we also have. So this just makes everything look digital, video game, 90s vibes. If you guys have any questions about the effects and presets, feel free to drop me a comment or message me on Instagram or Twitter. So we also just have a ton of shakes and impacts. So let me apply a random shake like this. As you can see, this kind of fits the coughing scheme, but if we delete that, we can also just search up shake so these are just some of my shakes and there's clearly just a ton to choose from. We also have some transition presets as well. For example, if I randomly wanted to just cut to this clip, I'll do an opacity fade and we'll start adding a transition to see how this works. So on this adjustment layer, I'm going to apply a preset and let's go to transitions. So here is a lens blur transition that we'll try out. So you can adjust the keyframes and don't feel like you have to keep the presets the same. Feel free to adjust these values however you want. So this actually adjusts the gain, saturation, and blur. So I use this transition so much. I love this camera lens blur, and obviously the cinematic in the clip is very random, but I think this will work really well for almost anything that you're using as a transition. Okay, so that's a taste of the effects and presets. And next up, we have some Photoshop elements. So for my edits, my thumbnails, and whatever I'm using for Photoshop, I have a bunch of elements like these. So for example, I've cut out this iPhone, which I use for a lot of edits. And then I also have some emojis because we all know the struggle of trying to download emojis from the internet is just terrible. So these are the most common emojis that I've used and I've made sure that they are transparent background. So those are my Photoshop elements. And last up, we got my overlays. These are overlays that I use because when I'm making edits, I actually create my own overlays a lot of the time. And so the overlays in this folder have accumulated to be my best and they can be insane for edits. So let me show you guys what some of these look like and how you can use them. Let me just choose some of the random ones here. So like this is a particles impact. So some particles come up and go straight to the camera, which I love because these can be really good for adding sauce for like an impact because I love when particles come to the camera. It just looks so sick. And then for my transitions, I obviously use a ton of film burns. So I've put in a bunch of the film burns that I've made in this pack as well. There's also a bunch of glitchy and distortion effects as well. So like this is a digital distortion overlay. And if I open this up, this is actually how I've used it for my promo that you saw at the beginning of the video. So this is that overlay right here. And I think it just works really well because it's super colorful and the displacement and glitchiness that it has just, I think it looks really sick. And I love glitchy overlays like this. So I actually used an effect called, I think it was BCC film damage or something to make this one. I also have a lot of grunges, which I use as backgrounds or overlays. And I love how these look, you can slow them down too. I love them for backgrounds and certain overlays. So obviously I'm just showing you guys a tiny bit of what is actually in this pack, but I wanted to make this YouTube video to show you how you can use it and what's inside of it. Because in my last pack, you guys had so many questions about how it actually works. And again, I'm gonna be throwing out a bunch of discounts, so stay tuned on my socials if you wanna be sure you want a lower price on the pack. But I love you guys, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and stay cozy, stay comfy, and stay hydrated. Peace.